Good evening, friends. My name is Mike Sauerwein. I'm one of the pastors here at House of Prayer and for our parish around the river, along with Pastor Susan and Pastor Jocelyn. And to my right, to your left on the TV screen is... I am Ben Brosha, music advocate here at House of Prayer and the surrounding other parishes. Welcome, friends, tonight. Glad you're with us uh, in our Lenten midweek Wednesday worship times here. Mm -hmm. um, how are you doing, Ben? I almost said good. Good, good. <laughs> Good. Despite the conversation we had earlier, <laughs> I, was, I almost said good. I'm hanging in there. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure, like many other people, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Some days you're, you just kind of uh, distract yourself well enough to get through the day and go on. And other days, it, it's very apparent on what's going on, and it gets frustrating. And mm. and being extroverted myself, I, I miss, I miss elements of my old life, is what I call it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Elements of old life, I like that. Yeah. Well, as, as an introvert, there are definitely struggles in the current lifestyle yeah. also. Um, it, it just it, ready to be done with this, right? Mm -hmm. Ready. To, we're, we're a year into this now, I believe, like a year of, of living life like this. Or, oh, huh. it, I mean, not life like this. It changes and fluctuates so frequently. But uh, I know a lot of people just feel like they're ready for it to be over. And I think, Absolutely. you know, right? Just wanting are to move on. Are you doing okay? I never ask you how you're doing. I'm good. You're good. I'm good. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, someone said to me last week, just really ready to be over this and start, like, just ignore everything that they've been sort of doing for the last year. And, I mean, everyone does is, is sort of living into this in different ways, which is awesome. But there is definitely a sense of, like, the finish line seems close as people are getting vaccines. Sure. And I know you had your first one. I did. Mine is next Tuesday, my first one. I'm just ready to be like, to heck with everything. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> let's just get back to life. Yeah. So hopefully these moments here on Wednesday nights are something that people can sort of like be drawn into and help pass the time, help pass that time a little bit yeah, to, to get through. Absolutely. We are doing something, friends, a little different here, which I'll get into in a moment. But just want to say again that as we, as long as we're doing Facebook Live worship, and this is our only way of worshiping without anybody in the room, which hopefully will be coming to an end soon. Love to have your interaction through the live stream here. Yes, please. I, there's already been some comments on here. Feel free to, th to write more comments. Feel free to share it. I'm going to check in and see who's on right now uh, real quick. I, I see Emily's already replying to people. I think Stacy was the first one I saw on tonight. Um, Stacy and uh, Cecilia, Jacob, Jonah, and Luna. Hello. Hello, puppy. Hello, family. Uh, Carl Stoyer, Stoyer family, welcome tonight. Um, El Schlager, Sandy and Bob, welcome to you guys. Paulette. Barbara, good to have you on tonight. Barbara lives right like a couple hundred yards out my back porch away from me. Uh, Pat and Greg Yarnell, welcome to you guys. Mom and Dad, good to see you guys on tonight. Joyce and Bob, awesome that you're here. Uh, Marianne Shears, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome Pat welcome. Maceo, welcome to you. Awesome, there's actually a good 20 people watching already. Donna, good evening, Donna. Welcome everyone who's watching. Feel free to comment in here. Feel free to write your prayer requests. Feel free to write how you're doing with all this stuff. We're going to talk about resilience a little bit later, maybe, mm. or just... Maybe even like the desire not to be resilient, <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, some days I feel resilient. Other days I'm like, this just I'm just gonna be angry today. Sure. Just be sad today. Just be frustrated today. Um, tonight uh, we are doing a new worship liturgy. It's called Unfailing Light. Mm -hmm. I know we've done uh, hold an evening prayer a bunch in this COVID time, this worshiping in the wilderness, as we've called it. We were feeling a little tired with it um, and thought maybe be a chance to do something a little different. Yeah. Um, to be completely <laughs> honest. I thought we would do something different right now when there's no one in the room because then no one could complain to me afterwards about it. Oh, no. <laughs> now, that's not a challenge. Don't write it on the Facebook stream yeah, how much say, you hate it. Don't, like, don't text me yeah. afterwards. <laughs> um, what my challenge to you actually is, like, listen to this tonight, and then yeah. like, it'll be new, and so it'll be a little bit of a struggle. In fact, it is likely that Ben and I will struggle through it and, and trip on some notes. At least I promise I probably will. Um, but then the cool thing about this Facebook thing is you can listen to it again and again, and you'll catch on to it much quicker than you would if you had to wait a week between things. And for you House of Prayer people, like, remember there was a time when you never heard Hold an Evening Prayer before either, and I thrust that upon you, and now yeah. we love that around here. So. I was about to say that. It's, take the time today, sit back, relax, and just enjoy. Take in, the, take in the lyrics specifically, too. The melody will come the more we do this throughout Lent. Mm -hmm. So just... Be, I thank you all ahead of time for your patience and willingness to, to go through this journey with us tonight. Because it'll be, there's a lot of interesting music here that I think you'll really enjoy and eventually get to start singing with us too. 
You can sing at home. The composers are the same people that wrote Hold an Evening Prayer, mm -hmm. um, Marty Haugen and Susan Briel. And we like her music a lot around here, their music, so I think you'll like this also. It is part of a communion liturgy for the evening. We're not gonna do it, we're not gonna be doing communion, but you'll hear some of the language in the songs it does have that communion sort of language to it. But mm -hmm. we're not gonna do communion, but we thought you could you'd appreciate the language from it. Um, and I might help us help just talk us through some of the pieces to it also, so that we're, we're so we, that we get through it okay. Uh, Ben's going to be doing the leadership part of it. You want to download the bulletin, I think, if you're a mu music reader, because we're going to have the music on there, um, like the actual music that you can read if you're a music reader. Yes. Um, and then there will be just the words periodically on the screen here. So hopefully we have all of our T's crossed and I's dotted between you and I and Joe. Um, this is all like a new thing for Joe, too, so we're, we're thrusting him in here. Um, but is there anything else we want to say about what we're going to do tonight? I think you've I think you've laid it out pretty well. All right. Yeah. It's a new thing. Let's so. just give it a go. Yep. Let's, let's give it a go. Could you maybe play a little bit of gathering music first? Sure. I, I know sure. I always need like a moment to gather myself after the announcement. Yeah. Um, yeah. We lit a bunch of candles here and decorated our space. Maybe you at home would want to do the same thing or set this moment apart from all the other moments of your life right now. Mm -hmm. Friends, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The liturgy begins with a dialogue back and forth. Uh, ben will be doing the leadership part, and we all will be doing the uh, response part. And then it'll move right into the first um, hymn, Your Canopy of Vigil Lights. And so we begin with the dialogue. O oh, servants of God, let us sing our praise. We bless your holy name, O God. From the rising of the sun to its setting. We bless your holy name, O God. You lift up the weak and the hungry. We bless your holy name, O God. And your glory shines above the heavens. We bless your holy name, O God. Your canopy of vigil lights 
Each star your hand has set in place Bestows a blessing on the night And all creation sings your praise You formed the moon and fired the sun you are quickened dust with holy breath, and binding us to your dear Son, renewed our life, destroyed our death. You walk with us a living way, your word a lamp to pilgrim feet, Stay with us now at close of day, our unknown guest, our host, and feast. Grant those who share this evening meal the faith and vision to believe. Let hearts might see what eyes conceal. By grace, your presence we receive. Refreshed by Sabbath, rest this night. Awaken us to your shalom. The reign of Christ unfailing fate, where peace and justice are at home. And saints need neither moon nor sun to sing your praise eternally. O merciful, immortal one, O blessed, holy Trinity. The Lord be with you, friends. We are going to have the readings part of worship right now. And so um, the daily readings is what we're going to use for these Wednesdays in Lent. And so that for today, the daily reading is um, the 77th Psalm. And then the gospel reading, which Ben's going to do here in a moment, is going to be from Matthew, the fourth gospel. And just uh, the way that the daily readings work, because I would imagine a lot of us probably don't dive into the daily readings a whole lot. Um, if you do, you're a super awesome person, and good for you for doing that. That's a good practice. Um, but they try to work through all the Psalms in a relatively shorter period of time. And then the gospel readings usually are the echoes of the one we hear on Sunday morning. So if the Sunday morning one is like a particular reading from Mark, they'll try to have like the echo story, the, the same version in Matthew's gospel or Luke's gospel, or maybe if it's in John's also. Um, but they try to appear throughout the week too, so you hear like the echoes of that story. And so that's what you're going to hear when we get to the gospel in a moment. But first, I'm going to read the 77th Psalm, and it goes like this. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God, and I moan. I meditate, and my spirit faints. You keep my eyelids from closing. I'm so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old, and I remember the years of long ago. I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search with my spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love ceased forever? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? And I say, in my, it is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. The very deep trembled. 
Clouds poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, we're going to do a bit of a gospel canticle, sort of like a mm -hmm. little interlude that comes right before the gospel I'm reading. And so um, this is the one just for Lent out of this liturgy of unfailing light. We do not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from your mouth. O Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Now the Gospel reading Gospel according to Matthew. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And afterwards, he was famished. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, Command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is risen. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written. He will command the angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against the stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devils took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. He said to them, All of these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. Then the devil left him and suddenly the angels came and waited on him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That was awesome. Last minute change in my mind there. Yeah. But now I... I it's going to be better next week. I have but, got even more plans of how this. Can I go. say I actually love yes. the interpretation. I mean, it started out really strong, um, with like the devil's voice, but then it was a very uh, like a non-anxious conversation between the two. Yeah. And I actually really appreciated your interpretation of Jesus' last response because mm -hmm. I was expecting it to be like another like quite powerful, strong response, and I, it was even more powerful that it was non-anxious and quiet and like mm -hmm. like some of the most powerful people in my life that I can ever remember uh, like dealing with me are those that kept themselves in complete control yeah. when things were spiraling out of control. That's literally, that's how I, inv that's totally how I envision really? it too. Yeah, like being very calm and collected. Like Jesus would that. not allow the devil or Satan to yeah. grab the emotion and, and fall into the same way of interaction. Well, the feelings we talk about too where like moments where Jesus is human and feeling probably pissed. Yeah. I, I th uh, like I say, he, I think he gets frustrated, but he doesn't show it. Yeah. And he gets frustrated because he has to take the high road all the time. You know what I mean? It's funny because I tell my kids the right all the road. time. Oh, yeah, no, right? Yeah. yeah, I tell my kids all the time when someone is trying to escalate a situation, yeah. 
when you escalate it also, right. you've given them exactly what they want. Exactly. That's like, the feel. And not just like throwing punches, but like when someone starts yelling at you, when you yell back, you've given them exactly what they want. They, they won. They, they just, they got you to lose your identity and lose who you are. Yeah. Nothing is more powerful than when you remain who you are or deflect the other's emotions and, and stand apart from that. Yeah, Joe yeah. just said the media could use that. I'm not sure that was live over the thing, but yeah, yes. Um, and then we could do well by responding to the media by not like dr being drawn right. into the same emotion for sure. Well, the older I get, I value that type of leadership. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just in any. It's hard though. It's, and it's super. It's not hard. response. It's not reactionary. It's responsive. Yeah. Like we want the reaction is to give the other person what they just gave us. Right. But we have to like turn off our reptilian brain mm -hmm. that wants to just fight or flight and like thoughtfully respond mm -hmm. and, and teach ourselves to do that over and over again. Yeah. Um, it's sort of uh, what the psalmist does. I mean, this is all how, it all how I thought this conversation was going to go, but you just... Sorry, it, yes. Um, <laughs> the psalmist very much wants to be very emotional and angry about mm -hmm. all these, like all those questions he asked rapid fire. Like what, you know, you're, uh, what were the, I want to say them specifically, like um, are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up in his compassion? I say, is this my grief and, the God, and God is most... Like, there's all this rage, and then he, like, goes back to his meditative moments, like, right? Because the thing starts off with, I need to meditate, I need to sort of reflect yeah. on these things. It's, I think we can train ourselves to not live into that reptilian sort mm -hmm. of brain. For sure. All right, that wasn't exactly where I thought things were going to go, so I'm going to segue a moment here um, and just say, how do you like the music so far? Um, other than yeah, the part that Ben good, sang there, which idea. was his own music, um, but the rest of it has been the, the liturgy. What have you thought so far? Feel free to write your comments in there. I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that now and uh, at the end too give us a reflection i'm a really bad person at like hearing something one through and having any sense for it yeah. i need to listen to things multiple times but stacy like is the opposite way she could listen to something one time sure know most of the words and either know if it was awesome or not so any uh knee-jerk reactions here uh that you want to throw in there stacy must be good at karaoke then she oh yeah she doesn't <laughs> they give you like the screen of all the karaoke yeah. words she didn't need that she's fine without that <laughs> What I want to ask, though, or I guess I'm going to start with an observation here, and that is that I have seen, and this isn't everybody, this is just some people in the world right now, just going down the, maybe the path of the psalmist here, the deep end of like, what is going right now is ruining the world. It's ruining all of our lives. All of our lives are being ruined by this. My kids, are, their lives are all being ruined by this, by not going to school or by all these things. Everything is ruined by this. And I want to just on one hand, validate some element of that. Like, we have lost a lot. A lot of this isn't right. And a lot of people have struggled. I mean, as I look up across the room here to you, I mean, a huge, like, a huge aspect of your life has been taken away. So you are one that much has been ruined by this. Yeah. All the live music that you, that has, it's like a huge part of your life, if not like the biggest part of your life, other than here at the church, it has been off the table. And so uh, you would be one, I think, that would have a, a firm statement saying, yeah, this has been really disastrous. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, so my, my, my ref the reason why I brought this up is because I, and you are not one that abides in this place, that, that, <laughs> be quiet, Joe. Um, mm. You are, uh, the reason why I say this and, and recognize you is you're not one though that, that then exists solely in the contemptible nature of that all. Mm -hmm. Like I, I see people out there just like totally overwhelmed with being miserable about things that are going on. And the ironic part is a lot of people I see that are so miserable aren't even the ones whose lives have been as devastated by this as others. Sure. Like, they're the ones still going to work every day, and they're the ones who are still, for the most part, like, things are okay. Yeah. I mean, you've got good reason to be really angry about the destructive nature of the world over the last year. Um, but I just, I, I see people just overwhelmingly angry um, and, and then choosing in every moment to live out that anger. And I just feel like that's such a misuse of this time. Yeah. I mean... Again, you're a good example. You, you've decided not to operate like that. I'm sure you have lots of moments like that, but overwhelmingly, you've also found great joy and possibility and hopefulness in this time, too. Yeah, I appreciate that. However, I don't feel like... Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. I could disagree at the same point. And also thinking on this, too, is even if someone that didn't lose a lot or what even is a lot, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, everybody has a right to be... I feel like everybody... I, I can't help but share empathy, even if someone maybe can't go to uh, Wendy's at noon with their friends weekdays. You know what I mean? Like, even that little thing, if it's a big thing for them, then that's a big thing for me, too. You know what I mean? Kind of, 
it's the the compassion side, I, empathy. I, I guess. I guess I yeah, sure, sure, sure. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I think there's a place to lament that, but then I think it's also dangerous to live solely in that lamentation. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. No, you I, can't do that. I guess that's that. what I see in the world. I see, and this isn't everybody. Again, this is a. A, a large and loud subset of people that are just deciding to live in the angst of every uh, of extrapolating every moment of angst and it being our total worldview. Yeah, it's it's easy. It's the easy it's the easy way to react and stay in. And almost one would sometimes I could see my family friend lady who's a Jehovah's Witness, mm -hmm. but she would say something like, "That's the devil's temptation right there." You know what I mean? The demons. That's the right. story you just read, yeah, though. That's, exactly. that, that's the parallel, yeah. right? I mean, it is so so easy, and I just it's so easy that like the Republicans do nothing right. Right. The Democrats the do devil. nothing yes. right. The school board does nothing right. Yeah. The whatever. I mean, you just you see it all over the world right now, where there's just some people that are so caught up in the every the it's the anger, it's the frustration, mm -hmm. it's. It's to, it's in total. Well, and and let really yourself sad. fall into that is yeah. the demon inside you too. Yeah. You know, it's super easy to go down. It's all everyone else's it's fault. Temptation. It is, yes. And so, so here's the thing that I want, I want to toss out there to wrestle with and let people wrestle with. Like, that's the gospel you just read. There's the gospel for Sunday. It's the gospel you just, just narrated for us. Like, Jesus goes there. Yeah. He goes to the place of temptation and wilderness where the devil is quite personified. And, yeah. and, and, you know, in the gospel on Sunday, it was the wild beasts and the other things that were tempting him. Like, is it fair to say that, that there's something faithful about going to the place of wilderness and it can be a good thing for us as long as we don't get, get caught up in the negativity of it? Like, Jesus does not do that. He goes to the wilderness, but he's not all blaming everybody and screaming sure. at everybody and calling everything wrong all the time. Yeah. It does not overwhelm him. It does right. not dictate and take over his life. It's all part of that end game goal we have of trying to keep a balanced life and yeah. lifestyle. Bal yes. You're allowed to take some of it. It's like a spice. Too much, too much paprika is probably a bad thing, right? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think, so a word I love to use with my kids is resilience. Doesn't, I think Jesus shows great resilience in mm -hmm. this. Again, that's why I love the, the, your narration of it. It's because mm -hmm. Jesus completely held his own and, and held his own identity right. in the midst of trying to be pulled away. But he's probably feeling that inside, like I'm no saying. Question. Absolutely. Yeah. No but question. But then he's also pound. Oh, I gotta take the high ground. Gotta well, razzle it's, frazzle. <laughs> it's the willingness to see the you complexity know? of the situation, not just yeah. be drawn into the anger of it all right. the time. Which again, I think that's why I see in the worldview right now this this play of always going to be of using this moment to be angry in total and not seeing anything else to it. Is the goal the word I'm thinking in my head is is the goal in these moments too to to think how can I how can I show grace? Mm -hmm. Grace is the word I just think. Yeah. During this whole conversation right now of being able to live in those moments and take the little pieces, but not. That's a perfect word. Overwhelming you, you know. If you're a person of grace, grace yeah. you immediately will respond to people you disagree with in a different way, mm -hmm. right? Whether it be, again, the people who are politically different from you, the people who are on this, who you're opposing from the school. We just had a school board meeting last week and I saw, oh, that, okay. saw everyone going <laughs> crazy about that. Sure. And, uh, of course. I mean, just people. Grace, right. So it, how are we going to look at those and the world right now with a worldview of grace? How do we look at, uh, you know, it would be easy to be upset with the, the lot my kids have had to gone th go through for the last year. But we've never said that to the kids. We've never said this is something you need to be angry or upset about. Rather, we said this is a challenge that you need to find and be resilient within or graceful within. Graceful. I mean, that's what Jesus does. He's resilient in these things, right? He doesn't yeah. lament his bad spot in these, this wilderness of 40 days or however long he's there. Rather, he shows his mettle and who he is mm -hmm. and the character that, that he is in those 40 days. I think that's who we can be. Yeah. Graceful people. Yeah, I can't get that word out of my head now. Grace. It's grace. That's the perfect word. Yeah. Let's just finish with that word. In, in the midst of all the wildernesses right now, we get to be people of grace. Mm. We, we're called to be... And we can uniquely be people of grace. And not apart from the struggle and the wilderness, but in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's sing our next song, which um, it isn't part of the liturgy necessarily of this unfailing light, um, which again is a great, isn't that a great title for the liturgy, unfailing light? Um, like unfailing light, that's good stuff. Um, the next song is, uh, the, the song that we're going to sing is Healer of Our Every Ill. I think Joe has the words to, for a PowerPoint here so you can see it on there. It's probably a, a song that a lot, a lot of us recognize. Um, 
written by Marty Haugen, and I think Susan Briel helped write it also. And let me just uh, let me just say on to uh, with Marianne Shear has commented, looking at the half a million people who lost their lives, and we have been spared and being very thankful. And I just wanted to mo like point out and note, you know, that gee, I like absolutely correct, and my heart goes out to a lot of the people that have lost the greatest loss of losing someone you love really close to you. And that's a grace response, right? To acknowledge the struggle, the heartbreak, and also, and she finished it by saying, "Be thankful. Mm -hmm. Like we're here." Yeah, we we are going to be in the midst of, midst of this and not just diminish the the loss, but we're going to also declare thankfulness. That is something I will never forget about this: is that amount of people. Yeah. My my dad also wrote a little bit earlier. He wrote, um, "It seems like we've lost a lot because we've had so much in the first place." Right, and how about that? That's such a wise. There's another grace lens. It's a right? wise quote. <laughs> Very wise. Any wisdom yeah. I have, you know where it came from now. Right. <laughs> Right. First world yeah. problems, Joe, exactly. No, yeah, real. we tend to do that. And again, there is legit loss right now. Um, but I think to put on that lens, one of my, my uh, um, alliance friend who I loved to hang out with the prayer, I haven't spent a lot of time with him in a long time, but it seems like he would, be, he would use the language of like, we declare thankfulness right now. We're just, yeah. just going to declare. Yeah. In the midst of all of this, we're going to declare thankfulness mm -hmm. and gracefulness right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's yeah, sorry song. to break. I no, just couldn't good. go without I, I seeing that. I appreciate it. There are a number of hearts there, too, from Laura and for mm -hmm. Colleen. That's just good stuff. Thank you all. Yes, yeah, thank you.
Seems like good words for tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're going to continue on with a time of prayer and a prayer litany. Um, so this prayer litany is a little different than what we've done before. Uh, it has this refrain that we're going to sing over and over again. Uh, Watch, O Lord, with all those awake this night. Um, and then it's going to break into a verse. Um, and so we're going to do the refrain, the first verse, the refrain, second verse, and then we're going to read off any prayers you want to offer. And I'm not sure that there's been any prayers offered so far. So if you have prayers that you want read, um, toss them in there right now real quick, um, and we'll uh, catch those in. And I'll try to include them in the rhythm of the song um, as we continue our uh, the, the verse refrain, In Your Love, Lord. Um, and then we'll do the third and fourth verses with the refrains in between those. Um, sounds a little complicated, but yeah. uh, we'll lead it. It'll be fine. Uh, might stumble on the words a little bit, but we'll, we'll, do, it to, we'll do it together as a, as a community, and uh, it'll be just fine. So again, get those prayers in there last second here, and we'll include them if you have any prayer requests. No pressure. Um, and we'll include it in the prayer litany here. Um, but again, it begins with this refrain. Uh, Joe, do you have the music there to put on the screen? Perfect. Sorry, it's kind of small, but uh, you can download the bulletin too if you want. It's there. Watch, O oh Lord, with all those awake this night. Watch, O oh Lord, with all those who weep. Give your angels and saints charge over all who sleep. Tend your railing walls Everybody. in your love, Lord. Rest your weary ones in your love, Lord. Bless your dying ones in your love, Lord of all. Refrain. O Lord, with all those awake this night, watch, O Lord, with all those who weep. Give your angels and saints charge over all who sleep. Soothe your suffering ones Everyone. in your love, Lord. Heal afflicted ones in your love, Lord. Shield your joyous ones. In your love, O oh Lord of all. All right, what prayers do we have here? We have healing prayers for Ken, Don, and George. In your love, Lord. Prayers for Scott and for Debbie. In your, In your love, Lord. Prayers for Tiger. He makes a full recovery. In your love, Lord. Prayers for anyone who's sick. In your love, Lord. Prayers for Mary Ann, for Zudi, Patty, and Beth and Holly. In your love, Lord. Prayers for Mary Ann's family and friends still fighting COVID and cancer. In your love, Lord. Prayers for strength for Mary Ann's family. In your love, Lord. for Scott, for Debbie. In your love, Lord. Prayers for those who are really struggling right now. In your love, Lord. Prayers for any who have felt loss in their life. In your love, Lord. Prayers for eyes of grace. In your love, O oh Lord of all, hold your grieving ones. In your love, Lord, raise your fallen ones. 
for Nikki, Frank, and Marge. In your love, Lord, guard your little ones. In your love, Lord, guide your searching ones. In your love, Lord, grant us all your peace. In your love, O Lord, With all those awake this night, watch, O Lord, with all those who Give your angels and saints charge over all who sleep. Lord God, we pray you hold all these requests, all these thoughts, all these things we lift up to you. Hold them near and give us strength for the journey. And now, Lord God, we pray the prayer that, that Jesus taught. The prayer of his disciples when they wanted to know how they might pray. Together, we pray slowly the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We pray Diane's prayer also for her sister, Bonnie. So our prayers never really end. We now move to our final song for the evening, By Your Hand You Feed Your People. We'll sing together. By your hand you feed your people Food of angels, heaven's bread. For these gifts we did not labor. By your grace we have been fed. Christ's own body, blessed and broken. Cup of flowing life outpoured. Given as a living token. Of your world redeemed, restored. In this meal we taste your sweetness. Bread for hunger, wine of peace. Holy word and holy wisdom satisfy our deepest needs. Christ's own body, blessed, broken, cup of flowing life, how poured, given us a living token of your word, redeemed, restored. Send us now with faith and courage to the hungry, lost, we in our living and our dying, we become what we receive. Christ's own body, blessed and broken, cup of flowing life outpoured. Even as a living token 
of the world redeemed, restored. And now we uh, leave you all with a musical blessing to end out the service today. Let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. May my own eyes see salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations. And the glory of your people is Israel. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Thanks, friends, for being with us tonight. Appreciate, uh, appreciate you. Appreciate you and your comments and. Uh, if you were not a commenter, if you're more one of the silent participators, we appreciate you. Thankful that you, uh, you joined us, or maybe that you're watching later on in the week, or maybe watching again because you like the music or just wanted to hear it more. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, with that blessing, we always finish uh, worship by sharing the peace with each other. And so with that blessing, with the sharing the peace, I would encourage you to share the peace with the world around you. Friends, the peace of the Lord be with you all. Also with you. Let us share that peace with each other. And feel free to add your comments and hear about how you felt about worship tonight. We'll let the stream go on for a minute or two um, just so you can share the peace with each other there and leave your comments. Good night. <laughs>